Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to save images from mid-journey. Whether you're traveling by car, train or airplane, there is always something beautiful to capture on camera. <laughs> However, it can be frustrating when you don't have a reliable internet connection. Yeah, I know, it's not even close. But it is what it is. My interest will be generated by AI every time. And today I'm going to show you how you can save images from Midjourney. Not this Midjourney, but you know which one. So first, let's say you um, have created this four images and you need to decide which one you like the most. So, for example, for this one, to be honest, the unicorn doesn't have the flowers in his hands, but maybe it's my fault because unicorns don't have hands. Anyway, I like this one. And my next step will be to upscale this image. This is the first one, this is second one, third one, and fourth. And here is the keys. So this one goes for this image, this one for that one, and so on. So for the second image, I need to click here, upscale. We're gonna wait for a few minutes. All right, great. So this is the second image upscaled what you can do you can click on the image and then open in browser and now you can right click on it and save image as it will be saved as png image then if you go to your downloads folder and click properties for this file you can see that it is about 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels and usually that's not enough so what we can do we can go back and try this upscale uh, better upscale redo what it does it will regenerate this image in higher quality so what it means it's not the same image it may defer a bit but it will have higher quality and in most cases it's really hard to find out the difference in design so i'm gonna click this button and we're gonna wait again okay awesome so now we can see that basically it added this little piece of hair and the flowers look a bit different so this is how the image looked like and after first round of upscaling, it actually looks like this. And you can see that it differ from this version. But when we click um, upscale redo, it looks closer to the original. In your case, the first, uh, the first round can be better. Uh, the second round can be worse. In my case, this worked really great so what we can do we're gonna save this image again so now it's 2000 by 2000 pixels approximately which is great it is bigger but probably it's still not big enough for you for example if you want to use this image for some prints uh, especially big size that's not enough so i'm going to show you how you can how you can make this image even better and bigger so the first way is to use photoshop okay so i have opened the file this is the 2000 by 2000 pixels file and first we need to go to edit preferences technology previews and then here you need to check that Preserve details 2.0 is enabled. Now we go to image, image size, and we can actually change the size of the image by using AI uh, in Photoshop. So uh, I'm gonna type, for example, uh, 8,000 pixels, and I'm gonna use this preserve details 2.0 preset. So you can click here and select this preset from the list. I actually found that this noise thing is better to keep at 100 or closer to it because then it works better. 
Okay, so now I click OK. We wait. Okay, awesome. So now it looks better. I'm going to export this file so that we can compare them later. Awesome. But the Photoshop is not the only way to do this because we have online tools. So let me show you two of them. So the first one is this AI image enlarger. And the second one is this one, which is replicate.com. So both are free for a few images, but if you want um, more than that, you will need to pay. Okay, so this is the file that we have downloaded from Midjourney. It has 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. So I'm gonna select four and then click start here. And for this, I do the same thing just for the comparison. Uh, factor scale. So this was, uh, I need four. So I'm gonna just type four, submit. Okay, so unfortunately this one doesn't want to work. So we're just gonna use uh, the first enlarger. Okay, and now let's compare all three files together. I have all three files on top of each other and this is the first file that we have downloaded from Midjourney. Uh, you can see that uh, it's not it's not very um, detailed it's not sharp and if you want it if you want to print it in big size you probably will have some problems. Uh, next version is Photoshop version and you can see the difference uh, you can see less pixels that's because it has more pixels in it it looks better it does but if we try to open the next one you can see the difference it is sharp it is detailed and it looks good I would say that you probably want to work on some kind of details. Maybe you don't. It all depends on what your goal is. Um, but it looks pretty good and it will look good on canvas or on t-shirt or whatever. So in my opinion, this uh, web AI works pretty good. And I will say that the second one works Kind of the same, it just doesn't want to work today, but usually it works. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. And I'll see you very soon.